Conquering Stage Fright, a guide for brave communicators. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the intricacies of the English language and help you become a more confident speaker and listener. Today, we're unraveling the mystery behind getting stage fright. This common experience can be a significant hurdle in public speaking, performing, even in everyday conversations. Stay with us to understand what it means, why it happens, and how to manage it effectively. Stage fright, also known as performance anxiety, is the nervousness or fear one feels before or during a public performance. This phenomenon isn't limited to actors on a stage. It can affect anyone, from students presenting in class to professionals speaking at a meeting. The key symptoms include sweating, shaking, a racing heart, and sometimes, a blank mind. Understanding that stage fright is a universal experience can be the first step towards managing it. The root of stage fright lies in our body's response to perceived danger, the fight or flight response. It's an evolutionary trait that prepares our bodies to face a threat. In the case of stage fright, the threat is the fear of judgment, failure, or embarrassment in front of an audience. Recognizing that this response is natural can help us normalize the experience and find ways to cope with it effectively. 1. Preparation is key. Knowing your material well can reduce anxiety and boost confidence. Practice your speech or performance multiple times before the big day. 2. Visualize success. Spend time visualizing a successful performance. Imagine the audience's positive reactions and how good it will feel to succeed. 3. Breathe deeply. Before going on stage, take deep, slow breaths to help calm your nerves. This technique can lower your heart rate and relax your body. 4. Focus on the message, not on yourself. Shift your focus from how you're being perceived to the message you want to convey. This helps in reducing self-consciousness. 5. Start small. If possible, start by performing in front of smaller, more familiar groups before tackling larger audiences. Getting stage fright is a natural, human experience, but it doesn't have to be a barrier to expressing yourself or sharing your ideas with the world. By understanding what it is, why it happens, and how to manage it, you're already on the path to becoming a more confident and compelling communicator. Remember, every great speaker was once a beginner who faced and overcame their fear of the stage. We hope this video helps you on your journey to mastering public speaking and beyond. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips on mastering the English language. See you in the next video.